All right, guys. I've got a uh, 2003 F250 with the 6.0. Um, got some challenges with it. I was driving around uh, about three weeks ago. Went up a pretty abrupt steep hill, but was empty carry, just driving around. And the whole truck, from the regular injector clatter clatter, went real muffled, and I totally lost almost all my power. And for a second, wasn't sure if I was going to be able to make it up the hill. Um, I made it up the hill, and then once I was off the hill, kind of like after the lug, or you know, it was lugging it, just the um, it became unmuffled and started sounding like normal. Turned around and now and was just thinking that was really really weird. Um, and then started working on it, asked some people uh, what it could be, and focused on the fuel system. Uh, a guy told me a, a possible fuel pump or fuel filter was going out or bad. Uh, so I got new fil fuel filters, and both of them are were very clean. I've only gotten 2,000 miles on the filters. I change them out every 5,000. Um, took the rail filter off, very clean, nothing wrong with it that I could tell. Put it back in, primed it all, the whole engine properly. Uh, cranked up good and then took it for a drive and 80% of my power was back and I was like super stoked and thrilled um, but then within the other half of that day with driving less than 20 miles um, just around town whatnot and then going to work the next morning which was like seven minutes away by the time I got to work I was gradually very quickly going downhill and couldn't push the pedal beyond a certain point Otherwise, it would it would kind of lug and go into this muffled, the clatter clatter would kind of become very quiet. I don't think it would actually stop. It would become very quiet and would lose a lot of power. And then once it went muffled, there was no extra throttle, throttle response. I could just floor it, and it wouldn't really change. It would still be increasing speed, but very, very slowly. Anyways, no codes are going off anything. Um, took the... Had it looked at, plugged it in, couldn't tell anything, but uh, a guy was just like, it's got to be uh, fuel related still. So, um, you know, check your, uh, I showed him, I took the fuel pump, the fuel rail, um, the main rail fuel pump on the driver's side, took that completely off, disconnected all the, the, the fuel lines and cleaned the water separator. Uh, to the untrained eye, it was dirty, but I didn't know how bad it was. Anyways, I showed pictures to this guy, and he was like, well, if it's, if that separator is that dirty, then your tank might be really bad. He would drop the tank and get that wrapped or fixed because it probably is rusted. So to drop the tank and found out that the, the tank is plastic, tank is beautifully clean. Uh, my boot was broken, had no boot at all. It completely rubber disintegrated there were pieces in there in it and the uh, sender unit that sucks the fuel up into the um, into the pump uh, I blew down going into the tank and a lot of small rubber particles um, came out so that was definitely clogged so that was definitely like a fixed issue got a new boot installed the new boot and went ahead and put in a new uh, level sender also. I uh, put two pieces together and got that done. Put the whole tank back up. Uh, I siphoned 15 gallons out. I just put 10 gallons in and it was reading right at about a quarter tank, which was a lot better than what it was before. Um, primed it real good, started it up, it turned on well, and test drove it. And I was gonna let it warm up a little bit and I couldn't even get down to the stop sign and it was bogging down again. Same exact thing. Um, couldn't tell my old, my fuel pressure. So I got a, a glow shift fuel, fuel gauge, um, installed that and uh, just got that installed. Did a little another test run. Um, Fuel pressure is good. When it goes into muffle mode, I don't, it doesn't make sense. But I was imagining the fuel gauge, the, sorry, the fuel pressure just dropping. 
really abrupt. And I know if you go under 40, that's really bad for the injectors. You know, healthy is 50, 60, you know, preferably 70, whatever. Um, when it goes into the muffled fuel pressure locks on, stays about 50, 52 for me. It doesn't move or very, very little movement. Um, and then this time, barely made it around my tra the traffic circle, really close to my house, uh, and really, really low power. Uh, my driveway is on a moderate uh, incline, and I had it up by the house, so that it was you had to go up a hill to get to the the flat ground. Anyways, did the put the the fuel gauge in, and it was still acting up, so I. Uh, blew the lines from the engine to the uh, the main fuel pump on the driver's side and then also from the pump to the fuel tank and I did that before I had the, the fuel tank back on so that's all cleaned and um, just went to try it again um, turbo is all good for what I can tell it's not stuck or loose or leaking real bad um, just did it again yesterday and it had a hard time starting but eventually started going and then as I back down um, oh my bad I put brand new filters in didn't need to the other ones were clean but I was like well this is the last resort put the new both filters in um, by the engine and under the driver's seat and then took, primed it got it running and then went back down my hill to uh, go take a drive and immediately I, I couldn't even turn to straighten out no power whatsoever complete muffled engine um, I could go in reverse and go and drive without pushing the gas like it was that amount of, of power that's all I had uh, the, 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 the road I live on is very flat but could not go up the hill I tried to go back up my driveway and completely would muffle out and I almost actually started rolling backwards. So just let it sit there, park, was trying to figure out what to do, called the guy, he wasn't sure where to go. Um, he said I need to take it down to another guy, but he didn't really understand that I really couldn't move. And then right before I got off the phone with the engine, the thing just running, um, which it was idling just fine. No rough idle like it has way back in the past. Um, it just kind of did a little a little kind of shaky shake and then it just literally died so right in the middle of the road <laughs> um, I had one more five gallon thing of fuel I haven't gone more than 10 miles since this has happened um, so I know I've got 10 gallons in the tank but I went ahead and put the other five gallon in so I got 15 gallons in the tank and the registered needle didn't really go up that much which is kind of frustrating but I don't feel like that's an issue um, but anyways that's a very long monologue of the latest issues with it and I'm leaning towards um, fuel fuel pressure I'm sorry uh, oil pressure could be a catch um, I've got a, a watchdog bully dog can't really see that really well uh, gauge it's not a tuner uh, everything stock um, I got new glow plugs in it um, and now it's got a new. I, I'm, I replaced the fil the, uh, the filter pump pump itself. The housing was all fine, but I replaced the pump with a equivalent uh, pump that had a max uh, psi of 113. Uh, so that pump should be healthy now. Uh, it's quieter than the original, but the original I feel like was dying. Um, haven't checked the ICP or the IPR. Um, injectors for what I can tell are doing fine anyways now I'm going to start this for you um, and because I don't know what I was able to get it off the road so I'm in the grass now um, but it was literally right by the, those trash cans that's where it was stuck for a couple of days um, all right so I'm going to now do a uh, we're going to start this up Fuel pressure's down here. I'll show you that it's, there's 50, 51, 52. So that's good. I'm gonna have this out here so you can hear it. All right, here we go. Just 
a little under a quarter. Right now it's running great or, or idling just fine. I can give it a little gas. Yep, I'm pushing more and it's going down. Fuel pressure is not dropping when I do that. Sorry for the horrible quality video. Um, no smoke. Doesn't smell weird. Um, I didn't put it in drive, but I don't have any power to get up onto the road right there. I wouldn't make it. Um, any comments? What should I do? I can tow it somewhere and have them just play with it. I'm trying to do things myself. Um, in college and um, you know, doing that stuff so I know it's this this whole truck can be kind of a black hole but had the thing just for a year and it's it's been really good really good to me um, and if I can just understand more of the processes that involves it working maybe I can get somewhere but oil pump <laughs> fuel pump fuel tank fuel sender all that jazz, uh, from the best of my knowledge and with YouTube's help, is is prime. It's good, solid. Um, the only catch is I got a 38 gallon tank, and it's not. I only got 15 gallons in there, but I don't feel like that should be causing the issues. Um, yeah. All right. Questions? Any advice? Uh, hit me up. I'm. Uh, I'm pretty much out of ideas and for me the next step that I can think of um, for me that I need is I just need more uh, data information so I need to get there's a, a gauge scan gauge mark 3 scan gauge is a brand of uh, monitor kind of like this uh, I've been reading up on it and it looks like it has more brains than this watchdog does and potentially could get a voltage on your ficum on the i the I could get a yeah voltage on the IP I the IP ICP um, things like that because maybe that's what's going out. I could get an oil pressure. Um, I know I couldn't get fuel because I didn't have any fuel pressure uh, sensor. So now I've I've installed that right on the right right by the uh, the fuel pump in the front or the fuel filter so all right thanks forward onward